Clement Townsend has been bringing us spring training updates over the past few weeks about Christian athletes and their journey in the big leagues. Today we meet James McCann, a catcher for the Detroit Tigers. James McCann got his first taste of big league action in 2014 when the Tigers were right in the thick of the playoff race. It's pretty special, uh, you know, especially making that debut um, in September down the stretch. You know, you're hunting for October. That's a, that's a special feeling. And McCann has a feeling 2015 could be another special year for Detroit. We have a, a very special lineup, a very special pitching staff. Uh, and, you know, the goal from day one has been to win the World Series. Um, I, I think we definitely have a group that can do that. Being a part of a World Series team would be a remarkable moment for McCann. However, what's even more remarkable is the fact that the California native is even alive. McCann's mother had a stillbirth just months before she was pregnant with him. And while carrying McCann, a complication occurred. 13 weeks into the pregnancy, my mom developed a hole in her amniotic sac. And the doctor said, you know, I had a one in four chance of, of surviving. And if I did survive, it's pretty much guaranteed that I, I was going to be physically or mentally disabled. Um, so they, you know, told my parents their, their rights and, and advised an abortion, if, if you could say, um, you know, just with their, their history and, you know, my parents said, no, you know, we're going to put our faith in God. And, and uh, the first words that came out of my mom's mouth when I was born was not bad for a one in four chance. Throughout his life, the 24-year-old has placed his faith in God. His favorite verse is Mark 10, 27. With men, it is impossible, but not with God, for with God, all things are possible. From day one, you know, the doctor said it was impossible. That's man telling, telling my parents that it was impossible, and obviously God had, had other plans. Um, and, you know, growing up, people saying, you know, hey, you know, that dream, that's far-fetched. You're, you're never going to make it to the show. You're, no one, you know, you know how hard it is to get there. But when you put your faith in God and, and you trust in God, he's got a bigger and better plan than anyone else could ever imagine. And that plan led McCann to become a major league catcher. During his rookie season, McCann encountered a lot of temptations, but leaned on his teammates to keep his life on the right track. Guys have more money than they know what to do with. Uh, so materialistic stuff, that's, that's a temptation. Uh, you know, women, that, that's a temptation. But uh, there's also guys in the clubhouse that, that set a good example and have Christ in their life. And, uh, you know, I was very, very lucky to have, you know, Torrey Hunter, uh, Don Kelly, Rajah Davis, those guys that have been there, done that, and are setting an example. It's a tough thing to stay on the straight and narrow. You know, God didn't say, it was, you know, he never once said it was going to be easy. Um, but that's something I take a pride in and, and, and want to set an example for not just my fellow teammates, but for that little boy in the stands that has dreams to be in my shoes one day. And one day, McCann hopes to make a big impact, one that extends well beyond the field. I want to establish myself, set, you know, establish myself for the future, a role in the big leagues. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, it's not the Tigers' plan. It's not my plan. It's God's plan. And whatever, you know, whatever he has in store for me, I'm going to embrace it and I'm, and I'm going to run with it and uh, use the platform that he's given me to, to reach others and, and spread his love and his mercy and his grace.